Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3. I'm the Serious JG. Got a little bit of a an issue where for some reason, um and Ninja Gaiden LP viewers viewers already know this. I'm running into this this weird issue now where my console recording is I'm having to listen to the sound. I can't listen to the sound through my headphones anymore. I'm not sure what has happened to the uh, recording setup that I usually use that I'm having to do that, but I am. So hopefully uh, I have the sound low enough that I can hear it, but you won't get an echo. In the meantime, I guess we've been doing these uh, stages kind of counterclockwise. So let's... Uh, these uh, dock robot mysterious uh, redux stages. So let's uh, go ahead and take care of whoever's... Whatever Mega Man 2 ghosts are lurking around the remains of Gemini Man's world. I don't remember this stage. Oh, I was dicking around off screen with a more recent Mega Man adventure, so I was sitting there trying to hold, uh, to get the X Buster charged up. That's not gonna be a thing. So there are, there are elements of Gemini Man stage, I was like, what happened to that? I thought that was gonna be a thing, and then I realized, oh yeah. It, Redux chapters where some of these foes start showing up. Certainly, this is uh, significantly more possible to get killed at than uh, Gemini Man's actual stage was with little difficult jumps, which. Not really a big deal for Gemini Man's original stage. I'm taking a lot more damage from those guys because there's a lot, lot fewer of them showing up where they're actually placed where I could kill them before they've dive bombed. So yeah, I'm like serious uh, hit point depletion issues here. As we can see, this this has already been cleared from previous. I'm not aware of any... Uh, oh, let's, let's shoot this thing and see what it is before we waste... Uh, that's worth getting. Alright. That was definitely worth getting. That's right, this is a place where we can potentially uh, get some power-ups going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Had pretty good luck with the 1-up drops. Jet ammo back to, but this one. Let's see. How how are we supposed to? It's been years since I've done this. How are we supposed to get to that power up? Uh, we would need to. Well, we have to backtrack from. Stupid JG. Did not kind of think that one through. Oh, I see. You can do it fairly easily with Rush Jet. Um, which I don't think we'll have a desperate need for Rush Jet later. There we go. So hopefully we get. Uh, some ammo back for special weapons. We didn't. Okay, well that was kind of a wash. Yes, this stage takes a lot more time if you decide you're going to farm all the power-ups that you can. See, 
there's some death spikes down there, so if you're really not paying attention, that can... game seems a little confused. Some of the eggs seem to respawn, but invisibly. I don't know how much of a thing it's going to be to have a lot of rush jet ammo in this stage. Alright, that's, that's enough. I could have really carefully planned that so that the spikes were not an issue, but I didn't care enough. Probably a whole not yeah, there's a whole nother screen full of this crap anyway, so almost full up now. Um I don't know if there's anything coming that would make it really important to clear out these upper rows. I guess you could save yourself some rush coil ammo if you really carefully planned this. And eliminated a whole bunch of rows over there, but I don't care that much. myself up so I'm going to need to use Rush Coil. Unless I just completely ignore whatever treasures are going to be up there. And there's no treasures up there, but there was a really loud noise that just came out of my laptop, which almost certainly got picked up. Oh, well, here's our first boss. Um, I wonder who they are and what they will be weak against. Man, it almost doesn't matter. But he was weak against metal blades, so I'm going to guess he doesn't like um, needles. And I'm also going to guess that I need to. Oh no, actually, this is the closest thing thematically to, uh, and it's not very useful against him, is it? Um... I've never this difficult before. Wow! I just died against Flashman! And I'm gonna have to start the whole stage over because that's how these. That was embarrassing. There's a couple of the uh, robot masters where I find them significantly more difficult as dock robots than I found them to beat in uh, Mega Man 2 for whatever reason. I don't know if that thing has a bigger hitbox or it might have different damage outputs. Like the same same movement pattern, but you know you take more damage for collision. There's a couple of I mean Flashman, I guess, is just an example. I I don't think I would have lost to Flashman with full health um, in Mega Man 2, but here I just uh, just got beat by him. Part of it was that I was trying to pause at one point and hit the wrong button. But, you know, it's not really an excuse against Flashman. His whole deal is to freeze his time, so how can the pause button possibly be uh, an excuse? I, didn't, I wasn't able to freeze time when I wanted to. No, that's his gimmick. Oh, you know what? I got a couple downloads going. It's going to make that noise every time. So that is a thing. Between videos here, I will probably want to uh, kill the sound of my laptop. All of our funky fresh power-ups are going to be gone. You can't... Um, I mean, we could, um... Fight more of these guys. Uh, destroy more eggs. 
But we're not going to be able to, um... Oh, farm those question mark boxes for anything useful. I gotta stop slamming the button, like, is, as is my habit, because I don't actually want to destroy the row that I'm currently standing on. Needleman seemed to be doing better against him than Shadow Man. But we probably want to try to refill both, because I'm, I'm also not going to know now what the weakness is of the, uh, the next robot. Doc Robot Master, Fate Robot Master guy. But I only used one shot of Shadow Man before realizing it sucks. Hold on, I'm going to... I'm going to kill the sound of this laptop while we're paused, because it's going to drive me up around the bend. Just had a, had a couple of things queued up to download, and then didn't realize that I was going to get this loud-ass Windows notification every time. Okay, so let's get back to it here. As the most super pro run of Mega Man 2 ever continues, and including... Sliding in the wrong direction when it doesn't actually particularly matter. That smug son of a bitch proto man over there. I'm ready for you to betray me in uh, Mega Man 5. Or am I? Or will you? get this whole area. Like, what is the purpose of any of that? I guess they could randomly drop one-ups if you really wanted to fight a whole bunch of them. And we're actually... We got lucky enough with one-up drops that it's kind of okay that I freaking lost to Flashman. As okay as that could ever be. actually. Good thing I didn't use exhaust my rush coil ammo while fighting um Flashman. That would be embarrassing and weird. Okay, see there's little holes now in the stage where these guys are gonna drop out of. Which actually means I can um fight these guys for health. Probably why this is here, actually. This will get boring. I'm already pretty bored. I confirmed that my uh, capture device is recording sound. It's just the the preview window, which is what I use to hear the sound through these uh, headphones, is just not a thing. It's not even a preview window. It's the actual. I don't know. I've got different capture uh, devices that I use, and one of them has inputs that work good on the PS3, but it's um, it's not an embedded card. It's a little funny. It, it's a uh, preview window, if you try to play through it, is lags behind. Whereas I got the Rec Central Avermedia card here, which is lets me play everything real-time, no lag issues, but... Um, now, for some reason, the sound's not working right. As I think of fascinating things to say while um, hoping these guys drop health power-ups. And then watch me like immediately fall down a death pit after uh, taking the time. I'm just like, what can I talk about? Well, the inauguration was today, but I really don't want to get into politics. I've occasionally... Rarely, I'll have somebody, like slam me for my liberal bias uh, in the comments, and I guess I've had it go the other way, where somebody thought I was, like, too conservative in the comments of a video, where I don't remember having said anything about politics whatsoever. <laughs> somebody on a fairly recent video uh, told me to stop ramming my, like, my leftist bullshit down their throats, and I have no idea, they didn't timestamp it, and I didn't go watch the whole video again, so I really have no idea what it was I said that was uh, construed as leftist bullshit. But I've definitely had people accuse me of being a fascist before, too. 
And it wasn't even the Panzer General series. It's weird. Well, you know, it's Proto Man looking like a smug son of a bitch over there, but he's nowhere near as goofy looking as Mega Man on the left. And that sweet number three floating over Proto Man's head looking totally bitchin'. I don't know if I have the patience to keep this up. But then, as soon as you say that, the game gives you a little reward just to keep you hooked. I wonder what this weird, like, glowing lattice work of stuff is that uh, Mega Man is apparently standing. It's between us, the viewer, and Mega Man now, because it is uh, overshadowing him. One big health power-up would have finished this a while ago. There we are. And now watch Death Pits. Well, this is actually the one place in the game where the Rush Marine is uh, useful. Unless there's like a, a Wily stage that I'm forgetting uh, that has an underwater sequence. So let's try to beat this on the first try. Yeah. Not that I know for sure that gives us a continuation point or anything, but... Oh cool, we can even uh, recharge our Rush Marine just in case. Although I think that's it, as far as how much we're gonna need it. we get to see their true form with the uh, glowing bit on the back now. Like we didn't really notice that they have goofy looking eyes. And the fact that I want to make sure I got full health when I get to the boss, uh, so I'm not just tanking these little guys. There's not a whole lot of challenge going on here right now. I know I'm tempting fate saying that, but... Especially because these guys appear to take the same route uh, each time. They don't mix it up whether they go left or right. But yeah, okay, so... I guess I guess I was smart to go ahead and grind for health because we did make it to the boss without uh, getting hit. And it's Bubble Man. I'm thinking... I'll try Shadow Man again because... Um, it is the closest in style to the old uh, metal blades. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good stuff right there. That's gonna kill him pretty good. Alright, Doc. Doc Robot. Doc Robot Brown. You did. Feeling pretty good about that despite dying against Flash Man, which really, really is unacceptable. Um... You know what, I'm not going to save just yet because I want to make sure that the video took. But when we come back, we've got one last Doc Robot stage to go. And, well, you know, maybe we'll, we'll it'll solve the mystery of just who the Doc Robots are, where they came from, and what's going on. But whether we get an answer to that mystery or not, I know that I'm looking forward to Dr. Wily and Dr. Light completing their World Peacekeeping Robot, which should happen at the end of the next video. I'm the Mysterious JG. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.